Hey Smash Braggies, it's your girl Smash Boss Away here and we're back with another video. So today's video is going to be my new in fragrance haul. If you already know, in my last haul, it was a new in fashion haul, and I told you to stay tuned because we were doing a new in fragrance haul. So all of the fragrances that your girl has got has come in. So let's hop into it, and if you wanna see what your girl got, make sure you stay tuned and keep watching. So first things first, in the last haul, I did show you guys a set of fragrances that I picked up from Marshall. So we're gonna start with those first. And this is the Le Mans Gourmand set. And this came with a set of three and I picked this up from Marshall's for $13. It actually was on sale. So when I saw that, I was like, yes, we need that. Because I saw that they had the matcha one in here and then they also have a vanilla one. And it's not all of them in there. I was just like, I. I like those fragrances so let's go ahead and do a review so we're gonna start with the matcha and their little bottles are so stinking cute uh, I'm gonna have to figure out where to put these now I'm not gonna spray it on because I have a fragrance on so I'm gonna just test it in the air This smells more clean. I thought it was going to be more on a creamy side, but it does smell a little bit more on the clean side. So it's very fresh. Um, this is a clean, fresh fragrance, and that's the matcha. And then for the vanilla, because that's what I was excited for, and I actually, depending on how this smells, I can spray it on because the fragrance that I have on today is kind of like in the sweet vanilla fragrance category. So. on my skin mmm that smells good I'm here for any type of vanilla scent to be honest so if it does it right I'm, I'm here for it so I actually really like this one I'm a vanilla girl so I'm just gonna spray that on my other side <laughs> and let that dry down yep she's gonna be used I like that one and then the last one is Santal Supreme. And the vanilla just gives like the, the standard basic gourmand type of fragrance. So that's what you'll get from that. And just as I suspected, this smells really good. This is again, a clean, fresh fragrance. And Santal will give you that. If if I can remember correctly, Le Labo 33, if I'm not mistaken, this smells like that. But also, um, I don't know where that one is, but I have a Bath & Body Works Santal fragrance and that will go nice with this. That will go really nice with this. It's like an aquatic almost, like aquatic, fresh aquatic. That's what it's giving. But I like her. She's she's she smells good. Mm -hmm. I like that one. And I'm thinking I have a fragrance from Nest. It's a perfume oil. It's um sand. It's a sandalwood fragrance, but it is more on the like fresh aquatic. Is it has a? It's very potent. I'm not gonna lie. It's very potent, but it is still giving that fresh like aquatic vibe. So I think that that will go really well with this as well. So those are the three that we got in this set, and that was a trio. So I will be putting all those to use. And then the fragrances that I'm so excited for and the reason why I wanted to record this video because y'all, we got our brown sugar babe order. We got our brown sugar babe order in the mail and when I tell you, I could not wait. As soon as I saw it said it was delivered, I ran to my mailbox and it was like 11 o'clock at night. I ran to my mailbox, I dropped what I was doing, I ran to my mailbox and I went and picked this up because I was like, this can't just be sitting in there. We we need to get this in the house and we need to get it in the house ASAP. So I'm not gonna lie to you. I have smelled some of these already and I actually am wearing one today and I have worn the other two the last couple of days or like within the past week. And y'all, I'm just so in love with these fragrance oils that I got. Like it's, mm, 
I'm here for it, okay? So I'm just gonna start with the first one that comes out. And this one is Moolah. And they just label the box with the sticker. And this one is an impression of Lyra. So I actually am wearing this one today. I paired it for my combo of the day with the Bath & Body Works. And this is the Iced Lemon Pound Cake. And I just love the way this smells. Like it just smells so, it smells literally like a lemon pound cake like if you were to go into a bakery and you were asked for like a lemon a lemon pound cake or some type of lemon cake with like buttercream frosting that's what this smells like and it smells really good so the notes on this is sugary glazed icing pure lemon zest and fluffy pound cake like oh my goodness it's just so beautiful like uh i just love it i i really get those notes of the um of the icing hey y'all here so this is moolah and when you smell this you get instantly gourmands like you get the gourmand you get the vanillas you get that very like sugary fragrance it smells like I don't want to say cereal milk in a bad way but it smells like cereal milk in a good way like it smells sweet but not overly sweet to where it will make you sick because that vanilla and that gourmand just like ties so well with this fragrance to bring it all together so i thought it was a perfect fragrance to layer with the lemon pound cake yes if if you know what fruit loops smell like it smells like an elevated sophisticated version of fruit loops and if you love to smell sweet if you love to smell edible if you love to smell like all the gourmands this is a perfect body oil fragrance oil for you i typically mix it with my lotion I do a basic lotion. I've been using the Nivea Cocoa Butter Lotion. I'll mix that with this, put it on my skin, and it gives you a nice glow, but it also does moisturize your skin as well. So I did use this today for my combo of the day, and that is one of the new in fragrances that your girl got from Brown Sugar Babe. So this is the first one. The second one that I'm pulling up is Girl from Bahia. This isn't an impression of a luxury or high-end fragrance, but it is an impression, if I'm not mistaken, of one of these Sol de Janeiro fragrances, which I believe is 71. So I'm gonna pull up their website and I'm going to pull up the notes for Girl in Bahia. Go over the notes if you are not familiar. So the top notes are caramelized vanilla and sea salt. The middle notes are toasted macadamia nut and white chocolate. And then the base notes are tonka bean and coconut blossom. So those are the notes in Girl from Bahia and I really love this one. This is a very gourmand fragrance. It's very nutty. It just gives you that vanilla, that warm warmth that typically you like when you get a gourmand fragrance because it has that vanilla component in it. So I absolutely love this one. If you're looking to go maybe like on a beach day or something like that, I think this fragrance would be perfect if you like warmer fragrances. And this can be worn throughout the entire year. I don't care what type of year it is, what type of fragrance I'm wearing, or what type of fragrance it is. I will wear it all throughout the year, but typically people like to wear warmer fragrances in the colder months. And some of those cooler tone fragrances, where whether it's like a aquatic or a fresh floral or anything like that, typically during the summer months. But I wear my fragrances whenever I want to. Okay, I purchased them, I bought them for a reason, so I'm gonna wear them. You can use that, honestly, if you want your fragrance to last a little bit longer. I would definitely recommend to pair that fragrance oil from Brown Sugar Babe with the body lotion or the body butter from Sol de Janeiro. And I don't know if 71 has a body butter, but you can use 62 because they're kind of like very similar in fragrance notes. So you can use 62 as your lotion. I would definitely recommend to layer the lotion with the Girl From Bahia and then you can top it off with your 71 spray. So that way you can just pull everything together and have a, la a long lasting fragrance for the entire day. Last but not least, we got Julie Mango. And if you wanna say in proper terms, Julie Mango. And y'all, when I saw that they were coming out with this fragrance oil, 
I like was like, okay, that is definitely going on the wish list. I had literally just finished smelling the actual fragrance that this is an impression of from Saks. And I was like, oh my goodness, this fragrance is amazing. I love it. It's just, it's fruity, but it's it's grown fruity, okay? It's, it's, it's giving grown and sexy. And I was just like, oh my goodness, this fragrance is everything. I actually have that fragrance on my wish list till this day, I still want it, even though I have the body oil, because it doesn't hurt to layer on layer on layer. Like if you have the body oil, when you layer the fragrance on top, it makes everything much more long lasting that your fragrance is gonna be lasting the entire day, babes. Like, you're gonna be smelling good the entire day. You're gonna be having that projection all day, that silliage all day. They're gonna be like, babes, what are you wearing? So, I still want that fragrance. It is still very much on my wish list, so she's coming. But this is Julie Mongo, as they say, if you're from the islands. <laughs> I'm not, so if I said that wrong, don't, don't come for me in the comments. But this fragrance, y'all, this fragrance, off of first smell, you get the mango. You get the mango and it gives you that fruity, that fruitiness, that fruity component to the fragrance. As it settles, I'm getting the musk. And it just, oh my gosh, it pairs so well. Oh my goodness. Yes, I love this. Oh my gosh, y'all. So I'm going to pull it up on their site and go over the notes for Julie Mango. So let's pull her up. The top notes are black pepper, patchouli, and blackberry. The middle notes are mango and jasmine. And then you have the base notes for vanilla and orris. So you do get that, that little bit of spice. From the black pepper i do smell that i do smell a little bit of spice now it's not overwhelming some of the reviews said that the pepper was too much but for me it is fine but you do get that little spice from the black pepper when it dries down you do get that creaminess of the vanilla and throughout the entire fragrance you just get that fruitiness from the mango and then also the blackberry so I'm really loving this fragrance. Like I'm, this is like one of my top ones from Brown Sugar Babe. I would have to say my top three at the current moment would have to be my Tribeca, Julie Mongo, and Rich Auntie. Those are my three top faves because those are the three, well, two because I just got this one, but I've been wearing this one. But those are the two, Rich Auntie and my Tribeca. Those are the ones that I wear the most. And my Tribeca is an impression of Bond number nine Tribeca. And then Rich Auntie is an impression of Delina. Every time I wear Rich Auntie with my Tribeca, I actually mix those two together in one bottle so that way I can spray it and they're just together all the time. But literally, you will get the most compliments when you wear those two ever. Like, I don't know what it is about those floral notes, but people go crazy for it okay so if you want to get compliments all day every day that fragrance that combo top tier and then i actually do top it off with roses and vanilla from bath and body works just to kind of like bring everything together and y'all a one those are the two that i like aside from the ones that i've already spoken about in this video but these three the rich auntie my tribeca and julie mongo I'm gonna have to say those are my top three at the current moment. Top three because I I I, I don't know. Like I can't. They're actually having a pop-up shop here in Houston, so I'm super excited to go smell some new fragrances, see what I like, um, and then we will add a fifth to the top five. But for now, our top four are Rich Auntie, My Tribeca, Julie Mongo, and Mula. So those are the top four that your girl has been loving. And yeah, that is my new end for my fragrances. I wanted to pull up and do a little fragrance haul because I haven't done any fragrance videos on here um, as of lately. I've been doing a lot more fashion content. So I did want to film some fragrance content for you babes. Just for the babes who are on here and I love the fragrances but also love the fashion. I want to, you know, I want to get y'all in so y'all, you know, feel included into the, into the channel as well. But if you are a girly who loves fashion, fragrance, and anything in between, definitely don't forget that subscribe button down below. Your girl would definitely appreciate it. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers. 
last I checked, we were at 886. So we're almost there and I'm super excited and thank you to everyone who has subscribed this far. If you're new, if you're old and you've been here and you're OG, I thank you. Thank you so much for tuning into my content. We definitely do appreciate it. I'll link my Instagram in the cards up at the top so that way you can go ahead and follow your own Instagram. I do have two Instagram pages, one for fashion, one for fragrance. And then I will also have all of my other social media handles linked down below so you can feel free to follow those as well. But thank you so much for tuning into today's video. Like I always say before I go, if I can do it, you can do it too. So get up and just do it. Peace.